Hello and welcome to a look through our new feedback and assessment record from the Positive Teacher Company. As teachers, we designed the feedback and assessment record for two main reasons. Number one, to save time for you as a teacher when giving feedback. And number two, and most importantly, to increase the impact that feedback has on stu a student or groups of students. The top of the template includes space to record the lesson or the lesson focus, which group has been taught, and the date. As an experienced primary school teacher, I'm going to be going through this template as a year three primary school teacher at the beginning of the year teaching place value in maths and how I would use this template to give effective feedback. The first section I would fill in at the end of a teaching sequence or lesson would be the misconceptions and errors section. I'll start with this section because I can identify the things that I need to work on going forward and this will then impact the, what the next steps in learning will be and the support that will be needed in the future. So for my imaginary year three class, I'm noting down specific initials of students that are having particular problems or misconceptions in the lesson, but also noting down any whole class issues that would then impact my planning for the next day. So my misconception section is now feeding into the support needed section. So I have coded the misconceptions and planned how I'm going to address these going forward. So the first one, I need a quick reteach and the second one, I just needed to give some verbal feedback. I've then planned in who I'm going to work with the next day. Now that I've identified any misconceptions and errors, and I've planned in how I'm going to address these with support needed, I can then plan my next steps in learning. So for this year three place value lesson, I am planning to reteach some exchanging because it was a whole class misconception. And then I've identified some particular students who don't necessarily need this recap and are ready for the next step and can be given some independent work while I'm going through the reteach. You've then got some space at the bottom to record some good examples that you might want to share as a whole class. I've then got space to record any presentation issues. So for example, in my imaginary year three class, they're not using rulers. Then I can record spelling errors. These might be happening as a whole class or with the particular students that I need to address. Then finally, I can identify any incomplete work or students that were absent during the lesson. So instead of writing the same feedback in 30 students' books, you can complete the feedback record to be shared with a group of students so you can discuss it together and make a plan for the learning going forward. The great thing about the feedback record is that the individual pages can be copied to be used by groups of students when going through the feedback for their learning. The final section of the feedback and assessment record are 20 double page spread record grids with space for 35 students. The record comes with 120 feedback templates and 20 double page spread records pages. Our feedback assessment record comes in 11 stylish designs is A4 and has a durable spiral bound cover.